Hey everybody, it's Daniel from Athlete Framework. Put out a new load monitoring tool and I just wanted to do a quick run through on how to best utilize the file. So if we come to the directory, first thing we want to do is just set up our roster information. So just click on Athlete Info. We'll come here. You can input your roster, the position, birthday, height and weight, and then whatever type of sessions your team tends to use on a week-to-week -week basis, anything from a practice to a game to a conditioning session, you can list as many as you want here. And then we come over here to the schedule. So if you know the upcoming season schedule for your team, roughly you can input you know, it here. The type of day it might be, uh, location, opponent. Um, this tool that I'm putting out today doesn't really utilize this function, but some of the future ones will. So first things first, put in the schedule, session, and roster information here. Let's go over to the database real quick. This is where we're going to input any load information. And the only columns you'll be able to update will be the ones with these arrows here, kind of signaling which columns um, you'll be using. So we can input date, athlete name, and this will refer to the roster. So whatever you put into that previous table, it will show up here status, session type, RPE duration, and then we have a few wellness metrics here. These wellness scores that you input, the that will be based off of um, this questionnaire by McLean 2010. So you'll see the numbers that correspond with specific descriptions of fatigue and sleep quality, soreness, stress, and mood. So just so you know where that's coming from. And then if you need an RPE sheet to go off of, this is the one that we're using for this document. So that's where you input the load information. Where you input injuries is here. So if you would like to, you can put in injury for date, name, uh, information for date, name, the type of injury, the side, body part, contact or non-contact, and then the return date, and that'll give you days missed. And then this will come into play with some of the dashboards that we're going to go over in the next video.